Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we are going to be talking about templates, specifically orientation uh, with different orientation images and how we would apply those templates so they match the orientation in Darkroom Core. So let's go ahead and get started, jump right in. Okay, so here I have a couple different images and I'm gonna switch over to my photo workshop and show you two different templates to match the different orientations that we might have, landscape or portrait. So I'm gonna click B to bring up my borders and I have this Earth Day template. If I switch over to a vertical image, it then crops that vertical image down to a horizontal image. So I have a separate template specifically for vertical images. So I can switch back and forth between the templates and then click my package and then let's say I switch to a horizontal image, select my horizontal image and then click my package and then everything works and shows up properly. But that's quite a few extra steps than I really wanna take. So let's see how we can speed up this process by applying the template to a package. First, we're gonna to go to our uh, templates you can see I have a few templates right here, um, but these are the two we're gonna be talking about. In my packages, I have a four by six image, and I've already labeled it four by six H for horizontal. Um, even though it's vertical here, you'll see um, once we apply the template by just double clicking in this area and choosing, always use a border for this package item, click choose, and then select the correct template. And I click, click OK, it's now going to automatically apply that template when I click on this package. So I can do the same thing for a vertical image. Let's add another package, call it 4x6V, and click OK, add print item just like normal, double click, and select the correct template. This one's going to be the vertical version. Now when we switch back to our photo workshop, let's clear all this. Now the one uh, thing I see most people run into when they're adding a template to a package is they forget to turn off the template in their photo workshop. So now whenever I select this, I can click on the vertical version and it still will apply this because it's already applied here. So we'll click the shortcut key end to remove the package make sure the scale and everything's correct. Um, you can also click right here um, on and off to remove the package. So now when I select my horizontal image and hit the shortcut key for my first package, which is number one, it'll add a horizontal image or horizontal template to my horizontal image and then shortcut key on my vertical image. It then applies this package or I can also just click on the package and it'll apply that package and template to the image that I have selected. So I know there's a few of you out there that are already talking about well it will automatically apply the template if you set it up properly and we'll get into that in just a second but this option right here is the easier of the two to set up. If you have a vertical version of a template and you need a you're going to be changing orientations this is the easiest setup. Now that we've gone past this, let's get into the more difficult setup. And it's really not that difficult. I just wanted to show you both versions. So we're clear of that order. And I have a, another set of templates right here. And what's very specific about this is uh, these last four characters that uh, become the last four characters in the um, the file name. The uh, if you put H O R Z and V E R T and everything else before that is the same, it will automatically choose the correct template based on the orientation. And where this is real helpful is in uh, Auto Print. But I just want to show you that these have the exact same file name with the exception of the last four characters, which we can see right there. Um, and if we look at it in the folder, 
here are those two templates, the CRD uh, files for those, HORZ, VERT. And I will try to include those so that you can test this out at home. We'll cancel there. And what we're gonna do is go to our camera options and then auto print. I already have a four by six here. And uh, I'll just clear that and pretend like it wasn't already there. Uh, so four by six auto print. As soon as I take a picture, it's gonna automatically uh, apply a template and print. So I'm gonna select my, we'll say the vertical version. Okay, so let's go ahead and see this in action. We're gonna switch to the photo workshop. I'm gonna take a horizontal image. And then we'll take a vertical. There it goes. Because it's set to auto print, I should have, uh, if I had a printer connected, it would automatically start printing out, but I have it set to, uh, not to auto print here. So if we double click on these two orders, we can see there's an image right there with, uh, it's horizontal with the logo in the bottom right, and then this would be the vertical, with the logo in the bottom right. So even when you're using auto print, um, you can have it automatically automatically select the correct template and yes that does work with a package as well so if we go back to our um, packages we'll call it 4x6 auto and this is just for naming this doesn't apply to anything it's uh, specifically the file naming on the template that uh, really matters so we have 4x6 double click choose demo and we'll select the vertical version and now when we click package and i'll do it in my mouse so you can see package number three applies a horizontal and save and double check view two you can see the correct templates applying. So those are a couple options. The second one's just a little bit more difficult to set up, um, but uh, they both are relatively easy to set up. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Thanks again for watching. Here are a couple of videos that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. Be sure to like, subscribe, but more importantly, if there's something you want to learn a little bit more about, comment below this video and I'll do my best to add it as a future video. I'll see you in the next one.